top 10 web software testing tool categories to improve your testing from eviltester.com. Web testing becomes increasingly important as more applications are moved onto the cloud and mobile phones. You can make your software testing more efficient and increase coverage by using a range of software testing tools. In this video, we'll describe the top 10 categories of tools you should consider when testing your web application. Number one, web browsers. Obviously, you will need to use a browser to test your web application. And you'll want to use a range of browsers to make sure that your site works on the browsers used by your customers. You can use the web analytics from your server to help you identify the browsers most used on your site. Remember to keep your browsers up to date, just like your customers, and keep checking the top five browsers used to access your site. Number two, link checkers. Nothing sets a bad impression more than a broken link on your site or application. Particularly if it's to your terms and conditions or privacy policy page. There are many free link checkers available that can scan your website and report problems. Be careful when you use them to limit the number of requests they use so you don't accidentally perform a denial of service attack on your site. And try to use more than one link checking tool because they often have different ideas of what a link actually means. Number three, automated execution. Very often people talk about test automation as though it was only automated execution. But all the tool categories listed here can be classed as test automation. There are many tools available to help with automated execution. Selenium WebDriver is probably the most popular open source execution engine. You need to take into account the technical skills on your project when you perform automated execution. Sometimes a commercial tool designed for helping people who can't code automate web applications can cost more than hiring staff who can code to help you use the available open source tools. Treat the concerns about automated GUI execution is too flaky with caution. Don't try and automate all the GUI functionality or everything through the GUI, but you can make your automated execution robust and you should have the ability to automate against multiple browsers as well to help cross browser compatibility. Number four, HTTP debug proxies. HTTP debug proxies help you view the HTTP traffic that is issued when you use a web application. The proxies can help you view the traffic to identify any odd behavior and requests which result in an error that you don't notice through the GUI. You can also use proxies as a way of recording the evidence of your testing by capturing all the requests made during testing or automated execution. As you become proficient with proxies, you can start moving into security testing and bypassing the browser to test the server directly by issuing HTTP calls directly from the proxy. Number five, browser developer tools. Almost every browser now has developer tools built in. These can help you view the structure of the page, see the CSS that is applied and spot any JavaScript errors that occur when you use the web application. The developer tools become more powerful with each browser release and you can now view HTTP traffic from within the browser and view processing time and memory usage. Don't let the name developer tools fool you. They can help you with software testing too. Number six, accessibility checking tools. Accessibility requirements are often a forgotten element of web testing. You can find browser plugins, proxy plugins, and standalone accessibility crawlers and tools to help you identify common accessibility issues. Accessibility checkers will not replace the need to learn how to inspect a page and evaluate it for accessibility, but they are a good way to start learning about accessibility and making sure you don't face any legal complications with a site that discriminates against people who want to access your website content. Number seven. HTML and CSS validation tools. One way to reduce the risk of cross-browser issues with your web application is to make sure that HTML and CSS comply with the W3C standards. 
using tools to scan your HTML and CSS and make sure they validate can help keep your site running even when browsers update to newer versions. Number eight, load testing tools. Load, stress and performance testing are specialisms within software testing but there are tools available which can help you get started so that you have more confidence that your site and application can handle spikes in user load. After all, everyone hopes that their website and application are going to take off. You can help your project identify any capability issues with your server early if you start incorporating load and performance testing into your process. Number nine, mobile browsers and emulators. You will have used desktop browsers to test your application. Make sure you don't neglect mobile devices. According to Statista.com, in quarter four of 2017, over 51% of the global internet traffic originated from mobile devices. Mobile devices often have smaller screens and sometimes unconventional JavaScript and HTML rendering engines. So while your site and application may work on a desktop or laptop, it might fail on a mobile device. With mobile devices, you also have to take into account the size of the page, images and how long it takes to load. The browser developer tools we mentioned earlier can often help you identify if your page will be slow on mobile devices. Number 10, API testing tools. Just because you're using a web application, does not mean you can't use an HTTP API client or testing tool. These tools can help you issue HTTP requests that your forms or JavaScript might issue, which can help you test the backend server or even just set up data to use via the main GUI. The more you understand the technology of your application, the better you will be able to test it. So what next? Have a look at our other videos where we explore tools that can help you with your web testing and visit eviltester.com slash web testing for more resources and information that can help. That's eviltester.com slash web testing.